Jones. Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Thanks. Do I have everybody's attention now? Do I have everybody's attention now? John, I got you. John, Do I have everybody's Sunday attention night. now? You put them cameras on me, then you must be willing To get that heart touched, this a must-see feeling The news ain't good, then it must be villain So I say it's that grounded, I don't trust these ceilings Spread across your nose, and I'm on your air Highest next on the cloud, am I in the air? Sunday night's round time, I flex my better Voltron transform to DX Don Mega and unseen, you probably think I'm nice Cause I slow like a stream to your wireless device And the smoke full of steam on any given night, I'll show up like a piece of any given slice. Uh, and for the latest and what is best, about I tune in and tune the rest out. Don, you gotta tell them, am I in the clear? Is this thing on? Am I on the air? On the air. What up? That's right, it's been a long time We shouldn't have left you without a dope show to listen to Because it is back, it is Am I on the Air I'm your host Don Mega, what up? And how's everybody doing out there? This is Am I on the Air This is your one stop shop for all the latest and greatest when it comes to entertainment news It's season 18, episode 19 Oh boy, are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think they're ready, yo Tonight's show is titled Play Toy So welcome to the show If this is your first time tuning in, welcome I'd like to welcome you into the family This is Am I on the Air This is a podcast that you come to and you listen And we break down everything that's going on in the world of entertainment news From movies to television shows to trailers Everything that's going down in the world of media like that You're going to know what's happening from a week to week basis and that's what we're here for Now tonight, I got a handful of new movie reviews for you guys We're going to talk MIB International We're going to talk Ma We're going to talk Murder Mystery We're going to talk Child's Play We're going to talk Toy Story 4 We're going to do a little bit of TV We're going to talk Black Mirror We're going to talk Jessica Jones And then, of course, we're going to get you caught up in all the latest and greatest in the world of entertainment news So, sit back, relax It's been a couple weeks since we've done an episode So this is probably going to go for about an hour tonight Typically our show is about a half hour, 45 minutes I'm guessing it's going to probably go about an hour tonight Just due to the amount of stuff we got going on But we'll get through the show on the pace that we need to do That's what it is So, um, if any of you are wondering, you know, like why the delay? Because we're broadcasting live here from the Red Dragons Radio Studios Here in... Super hot Tucson, Arizona It's 10 o'clock at night And it's still like 110 outside It's crazy out there But you know what, it's a Wednesday It's June 26th uh, That we're broadcasting here And uh, it's very weird I don't do the show on Wednesdays ever We normally drop new episodes for you guys every Monday Well, the last couple weeks have been crazy My dad came to visit Uh, So I got a new episode out a couple weeks ago And then just basically took my time Took my vacation time Took some family time Chilled with my dad And then he left I had a lot of catching up to do at work And and so I normally would have done a show this past Monday Or Tuesday And then uh, my wife and my daughter Have actually headed out of town today To go to California for about a week So I'm in the broadcast studios all alone, man So it's pretty awesome 
And uh, so it was the perfect time I said you know what I'll wait till Wednesday When everybody's gone That way I'm not putting anybody out I don't have to feel like I'm shafting anybody And we can sit back and we can get caught up In all the latest and greatest In entertainment news So that's why the delay But you know what uh, it lets us refocus It lets us re-energize And it lets me come to you with some great content So, without any further ado Let's jump right into it Doing catching up on some movie reviews, man Because I've seen some movies over the past couple weeks Let's start with MIB International Men in Black International Of course, we've had three Men in Black movies With Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones this is a spin-off. This takes place in the same universe, but we're going over to London and we're dealing with a lot a whole different group of the MIB. So you have Chris Hemsworth, you got Liam Neeson, and of course we got Tessa Thompson coming into this one. So we got a little Thor and Valkyrie uh, you know, reunite here. And uh, it's pretty cool to see the Marvel Universe come come full circle. And uh, you know, Tessa Thompson's character lives in New York. And she saw an alien when she was a kid So she knew there was some kind of MIB There was something out there And uh, she wanted to get to the bottom of it So she, uh, her parents End up getting tased, you know, with the Neuralizer, but she blocks it And is able to grow up her whole life Trying to find the MIB You see it in the trailer, she finds the MIB And she says, I want in She becomes part of the group They send her to London to help out Chris Hemsworth Um, That's about where I'll stop there Because this is spoiler free review So don't you worry And um, you know Here's what I'll say about Men in Black International Now I'm a big fan of the First three I love the Tommy uh, Tommy Lee Jones uh, Tommy Smith Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones um, Rapport that they have I love their connection I love their on screen chemistry Uh, They're awesome together And those were three really good movies Now Going into the spinoff, I was really interested more or less because of Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson. I knew that they would be really good together because of Thor Ragnarok. Um, and overall, the movie is just okay. It's the chemistry, once again, between Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson. It's their on screen chemistry, it's their, um, you know, wickedness back and forth, like the, they're, the way that they juggle off each other. And of course, you know, when you get Liam Neeson in there uh, And uh, a couple other people It it builds it up And uh, you got um, Oh man, I'm trying to remember his name now uh, uh, Jam- uh, God damn it, what is it? Uh, J- Jamal, Jamil Nanjiani um, I'm so sorry I'm screwing up his name Nanjiani is his last name Um He's awesome uh, From Silicon Valley He's going to be in the uh, Dave Batista movie Stuber in a couple weeks I love this guy um, Even though I'm missing his name right now I'm sorry This is what happens when you record live on the air You start to brain fart And uh, um, he's awesome in this He plays this little uh, alien chess piece That goes around with uh, Tessa Thompson And he's hilarious in this movie uh, Namal, Jamal God I still can't do it Namal Nanjiani uh, so I'm so sorry, um, but he's great. <laughs> so um, it's the people that are the standouts in this movie. Overall, the movie is very predictable. It's very cookie cutter. It's exactly paint by the numbers of what you would expect. But it's the chemistry and it's the fun that everybody's having in this movie that makes you have fun. And I had a smile on my face and I enjoyed myself. And uh, I'm glad I went to go see it. So. Overall, I'd say MIB International is like a 3 out of 5, maybe 3.5 as a stretch, but pretty much a 3 out of 5 uh, on that tip. So, I enjoyed it. I don't know if we'll get any more sequels here because it didn't do all that hot at the box office. Did better internationally, hence the title, uh, than here in America, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I'd say about 3 out of 5 stars for that one. The next movie I have is a horror movie that came out actually at the end of May So it took me a little bit to get through to find this the time to get to see this one But I finally did and it's Ma This is the movie with Octavia Spencer And if you've seen the trailer basically the gist of this one is Is that there's a group of kids, they want to hang out, they want to drink uh, They approach Octavia Spencer's character to uh, buy them alcohol She does and then she invites them back to her house 
to drink safely so they're not drunk driving. But she turns out to be a little cuckoo, and the rest is, uh, yeah, is, is, there you go. I can't spoil it, so this one's really hard to talk about, too. Once again, I thought this movie was really, really fun, and I gotta give it to Octavia Spencer, who just crushes it in this movie. She's so good. Uh, I never really saw her in a role like this, and she's awesome. So I I really really enjoyed this. It takes a little bit of time to get ramped up. I wish it would have got going a little bit faster. But once it gets going, um, I really enjoyed it, man. I had a blast with it. So uh, I would give Ma about a three and a half out of five as well uh, on that one. There, I think you should definitely check it out. I mean, it's pretty much out of theaters now at this point. I think I caught it on the last week in theaters. Um, but you know, hey, when it comes out in about a month or so in digital or on um, you know HBO in a couple months, definitely worth checking out. So check out Ma. All right, the next movie I have is not theatrically. This one is actually Netflix, and it's Adam Sandler's latest movie, Murder Mystery. So this is his newest movie with Jennifer Aniston, and uh, basically they're a married couple. They're going on their honeymoon, and uh, they. Jennifer Aniston kind of befriends Luke Evans in this movie Who's this uh, rich, powerful guy And he invites them to come along to uh, a very special cruise uh, ship that he's got And, uh, you know, basically sail the seas with them So they do, and someone gets murdered, but who did it? And now our murder mystery is off to the, the races here Um... This movie I'm kind of torn on to I was looking really forward to it Because I love Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston And just go with it I, I really really like that movie So I know that they play well off each other So when I heard they were doing this I was really excited This movie's got a lot of great Kind of you know B-level characters That pop in and out of it um, Like Luke Evans and stuff um, But overall the movie's just okay It has some pretty decent laughs but they're too spread out There's some stuff that's just really stupid There's some stuff that's really funny And then there's other stuff that shouldn't really even be in here So, you know, overall I was like, it was good But it was just, you know, it was just okay good um, Because it's on Netflix and it's free I'm judging it a little bit looser Than if I went to spend my money on it But, you know, I'd say 3 out of 5 stars for this one uh, More 2.5, but I would go 3 just because it's Netflix And you're not wasting any money So if you don't like it, shut it off But I enjoyed it, so there you go And that takes us up to this past weekend So two big new releases Toy Story 4 and Child's Play So I'm going to start with Child's Play Because that's what I saw first And I know a lot of people were like Oh man, that movie's going to suck I hate remakes, blah 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 Listen I actually really dug this child's play It's What I like about it is that it is a remake It's a retelling, it's a reboot So to speak, but they do it in a fresh Unique way that makes This movie kind of stand out on its own Yes it's a doll, yes it's Chucky A lot of the basis Is the same, but the doll Is brought to life in a different way The doll acts in a different way, the doll can do different things That it couldn't do in the original movies So it's different and that's what I like about these remakes It's what I really liked about the Total Recall remake With uh, Colin Farrell Is that it was totally different than the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie And that's what I think they did here with Child's Play It's enough different that it makes it set out on its own And I will say it's more funny than it is scary I laughed my ass off at this movie I don't know if it was intentional or what But I truly laughed my ass off at this movie uh, More than the scares were there But other than how stupid the doll looks I actually really dug this film And I think if you even are s Even remotely interested In a Child's Play movie I think you should go check it out So uh, I would give Child's Play a 3 out of 5 um, But worth it man And lastly Toy Story 4 Of course we had to have seen this movie right uh, You know So I took my daughter which, you know, my daughter's five So she actually hasn't even seen any of the Toy Story movies And she wasn't even super big to go see this one Until she saw the trailer with Ducky and Bunny Which are the two new characters that Key and Peele voice Once she saw them, then she was interested And then she got I got her a plush uh, stuffed animal of Ducky and Bunny So then she got more of a connection to that so we went to check out this movie And she adored it, she loved it She wanted to go back immediately and watch it again 
Um, it's really good, man. It's Toy Story. What do you expect? All the movies are fantastic in the Toy Story world, and four is just as good as the other ones, man. It's really, really good. It has great heart, and man, are they getting so damn good at the animation here. This movie was beautiful. Some of the stuff that's in this film, you're just like, is that animated? You think it's real? It looks so damn good. Um, it's just, it warms your heart. It makes you tear up and it makes you have a smile on your face Uh, We had a great time with it And I think you will too So definitely highly recommend Toy Story 4 Check the family Uh, Take all your kids, take your kids kids Take your cousins kids, your uh, grandkids Whatever man and go enjoy Toy Story 4 I'd give this one 4 out of 5 stars easily So there's some movies man What 3, 4, 5, 5 movies reviewed So MIB International 3 out of 5 Ma, three, three and a half out of five Murder Mystery, three out of five Child's Play, three out of five And Toy Story 4, four out of five So there you go, man Uh, Lots of threes It was kind of interesting watching that many movies Uh, Speaking of this upcoming weekend, the box office I will probably check out Annabelle I think we'll probably check out Annabelle Comes Home Which hits theaters on Friday Uh, I'm still looking to maybe catch Shaft this weekend um, and maybe even see Anna um, Hearing mixed things on Anna But it looks really good So uh, I don't know We'll see what we got for you on the next go around I might even catch up on a couple other Netflix movies as well too To talk about on the next show Now real quickly I want to address a couple TV shows Going over to the Netflix world uh, Black Mirror, the new season dropped of that There's three episodes There's only three episodes in the new season uh, And they're an hour apiece So check it out uh, I'm torn on this season, man I love Black Mirror, but this was a weird season Episode number one, Striking Vipers uh, Yeah, I was only so-so on this episode I thought it was going to be great Anthony Mackie, Yaya Abdul-Mateen II uh, Stoked, man Street Fighter, Virtual Reality, hell yeah It was not what I expected And uh, it turned out to be really, really weird uh, So this episode was just okay for me The second episode... Which was called like Smithers or Smithereens or some shit I hated this episode It was horrible and what a waste of time And then episode 3 is the one with Miley Cyrus I thought this was the best episode out of the 3 I really dug this one uh, Another one about self-conscious and, and using brain waves And just you know Black Mirror is very crazy up in your brain like that uh, So that was my favorite episode out of the bunch was the Miley Cyrus one So a very uneven season Of Black Mirror Like one that's okay, one that I hate And one that I liked So it's very divisive uh, And then lastly, Jessica Jones Just past Friday Jessica Jones season 3 The final season on Netflix For Marvel's Jessica Jones dropped Just finished it last night And I loved this season This was a great season This was a great ending for the show uh, I thought everyone was fantastic in this season uh, My wife was over the moon about this season She loved it um, And yeah, just a great, great season So what a way to go out on top Even though the show's been cancelled I know some people didn't even bother to watch it because of that Friggins um, But you know, it's worth a watch, man You know, I don't know what the hate is sometimes for Jessica Jones But it's a great show And uh, like I said, I really thought they knocked it out the park this season So highly, highly enjoyable Check it out If you were on the fence, I very much recommend to watch this final season of Jessica Jones Okay, man, that's a lot of reviews And uh, we're going to transition into the news now The news, of course, of the last two, two and a half weeks Uh, To get through So we're going to kind of blaze through A lot of this stuff here And get you guys caught up Um, Remember All of the news that I talk about Can be found on our social media So you should be following Am I on the air On your social media platforms Follow us on Facebook Follow us on Twitter You know And that way you get this news As it drops Uh, Same thing for trailers Trailers drop almost every day So make sure you follow us on our social media To know when to catch this stuff And if you want instant reviews when things come out You should be following me on Stardust It's Stardust is an app that you download Follow me at Don Mega D-O-N-M-E-G-A And I'll follow you back 
It's a great 30 second review platform That you can just review a TV show A trailer, a movie 30 seconds, post it And people can watch And you can find out right away Yay or nay on something So check out Stardust Okay With that being said Let's get into the news uh, actor Paul Walter Hauser is set to star as Richard Jewell in Clint, in Clint Eastwood's new docudrama that he's putting together. Uh, Coco's Matthew Aldrich has been hired to oversee Netflix's new Chronicles of Narnia, uh, which is going to be stretching across original films and series. That's right. Remember, Netflix is trying to do Narnia up real big with TV shows, movies, everything. So, uh, you know, the guy behind Coco is going to kind of be the Kevin Feige here and oversee everything in the Narnia cinematic universe. Don Cheadle is set to lead the new Quibi sci fi drama, Don't Look Deeper. Starting to see a lot of stuff about this Quibi, which is going to be a new streaming service. So they're starting to stack this stuff up. So looking forward to it. Natalie Goumade is set to guest star as Mercy Graves on the new upcoming season of DC uh, Universe's Titans Season 2. Paramount Pictures is developing a new animated Spice Girls movie. That's right, animated Spice Girls. CBS All Access Tell Me a Story is bringing back Paul Wesley for Season 2. Sony Animation has unveiled that the they're going to be doing a Boondocks reboot. So they're going to be bringing that one back um, Facebook Watch has set some premiere dates For Sorry for Your Loss, Limetown And a couple other shows So check that out if you're interested to see when those are coming back Remember we're doing a movie of Clifford the Big Red Dog That's right, and they've just added John Cleese And Siona Gilroy to the cast um, The new Spongebob Squarepants movie Has added Aquafina and Reggie Watts to the cast Plus original music by Cindy Lauper. That's right. Uh, Mark Hamill revealed that he felt very intimidated taking on the voice of Chucky, which is really funny because, of course, he is the voice of the Joker, who sounds very much how Chucky sounds in the movie. But, uh, you know, I, I thought he did a great job in the new film. Carla Cugino teases her possible return for season two of The Haunting of Hill House. Uh, which is interesting to hear Because I heard that they weren't bringing anybody back For season 2, it was going to be a whole new family But maybe her ghost or something will pop up Brian Tyree Henry Is uh, dropping some Information about the Joker movie And A Quiet Place 2 So you can check that out, he is a part of both films uh, The new Leica Studios Missing Link movie Is going to get a July Home release date the Dark Crystal prequel series is coming to Netflix in a couple months, so look for that. Uh, the first trailer has dropped as well. Sci-Fi. Yes, the Sci-Fi Network is set to develop a new series featuring DC's bounty hunting Lobo. Yes, Lobo is getting his own series. It is confirmed to be played by Emmett Scanlon, who is portraying Lobo on the Sci-Fi show uh, Krypton. So he has a cameo on Krypton this season And I guess they've loved what he's done so much That they're going to actually give Lobo his own TV show So pretty cool there I will probably watch that I can't get into Krypton But I will definitely check out the Lobo show Sylvester Stallone and Dave Bautista are back for Escape Plan 3 That's right, Escape Plan The Extractors uh, The trailer has popped up for that one You can check out now And the movie comes out in July the original Dark Phoenix ending would have had the X-Men fighting the Scrolls. Check that out. That's right. But once uh, Captain Marvel was coming out with Scrolls in it, they decided to make some changes. So a lot of people didn't think that it was just a lot of copying of the same thing. So that would have been interesting for sure. Um, sorry, bear with me here. We have the first trailer for Doctor Sleep. Which is the sequel to The Shining With Ewan McGregor, it looks awesome So check out that trailer, it looks really really creepy The new Will Smith movie King Richard has landed A new director and um, It has been given a 2020 Release date Tracy Ellis Ross is set to voice the lead In the new show Jody Which is going to be an MTV Daria spinoff Oh man, bringing back Daria, crazy Kevin Hart's new film Fatherhood has just added Anthony Kerrigan to the cast 
Dominic Monaghan is joining Mel Gibson and Charlie Hunnam in the new thriller Waldo. Blumhouse has revealed that they're going to be doing a reimagining of the horror movie Black Christmas, and it'll be coming out this December. That's right, that's how fast they can slap these movies together. So, Black Christmas is on the way, December 13th this year. Anne Hathaway has been trying to put together a Sesame Street film, and that's been currently delayed until April of 2020. Daniel Radcliffe has joined the upcoming Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt interactive special That's going to be on Netflix Kid Cudi has joined the cast of Bill and Ted 3 Bill and Ted Face the Music Hulu has ordered a new Syrian Civil War drama That will be led by James Purefoy DreamWorks Animation is doing a Fast and Furious animated show Called Fast and Furious Spy Racers And a first teaser trailer has dropped for that And the show will come later this year to Netflix Imogen Poots is set to lead the Blumhouse remake of Black Christmas John Turtletob is set to direct a film based on the 70's con man Crazy Eddie We have the first trailer for Above the Shadows uh, starring Megan Fox Uh, Gladiator 2 is still in production And uh, they say it will take place 20 to 30 years after the original And I don't think this will have anything to do with Russell Crowe The Banana Splits are back That's right, horrible, bloody vengeance In the new horror movie trailer For the new sci-fi movie The Banana Splits, that's right Uh, Craziness is what this is So check it out If you want to scratch your head and be like What? (laughs) Idris Elba is going to be going up Against pro driver Ken Block In a new Quibi stunt series Called Elba vs. Block Tatiana Masolani is set to voice the next chapter of Orphan Black that will be set in the future Jersey Shore Family Vacation is returning with new episodes later this summer Congratulations to The Rock who received the Generation Award at the MTV Movie and TV Awards last weekend That was awesome The Steven Universe movie is going to be a musical And they've just added Chance the Rapper, Patti Lapone, and more to the cast Ava DuVernay's When They See Us Is the most watched series on Netflix Since its premiere So congratulations, that is awesome I still need to watch this myself Mary Steenburgen announces that a book club Sequel is in the works Uh, Projections for Spider-Man Far From Home Say it's headed to 150 to 160 million range Over at the box office So we'll see, it comes out next week I'm super, super excited We have the first trailer for Young Justice That's right, Young Justice is coming back And uh, starting on July 2nd You can watch a new episode every Tuesday Throughout July and August Only on the DC Universe app Uh, If you join the service now You can now binge the first 13 episodes Of the new season Before the second half begins Mel Gibson and Charlie Hunnam thriller Waldo Has also added Clancy Brown to the cast Bradley Cooper is in early talks to star in Gilmo del Toro's Nightmare Alley And he'd be replacing um, Leonardo DiCaprio Leonardo DiCaprio bounced out after negotiations failed So now Bradley Cooper is in talks to take his spot The Spectrum Network has renewed Bad Boys spinoff LA's Finest for a second season So cool, I want to see the first season But I don't have no damn Spectrum So I gotta find it somewhere else Uh... Gatton Matazaro Who is the little kid that talks weird On uh, Stranger Things He is set to host a new Netflix Hidden camera prank show Called Prank Encounters Yes that's right I love me some prank shows so I'll watch it Nat Geo's The Right Stuff Has just added Jake McDorman And Joe Dempsey to the cast Lin-Manuel Miranda Has confirmed that he will appear In the Heights movie that he's making So um, it's not going to be a major role But he'll be playing Paragua guy In the Heights musical Uh, Let's see Everybody's talking about Jamie There's a new film being put together And they just added Richard E. Grant to star Clint Eastwood's Richard Jewell Has added Oscar winner Kathy Bates to the cast Emile Hirsch has been added to Mel Gibson's new film Force of Nature Got an article up with Simon Kinberg Talking about the box office disappointment For Dark Phoenix Men in Black International When it debuted launched with an actual Really good Thursday 3.1 million And then dropped off 
after that So I don't know what went wrong Probably just a lot of the critic reviews <laughs> After that effect Pretty Little Liars actor Drew Van Acker Has also joined Titan Season 2 He will be playing Aqualad That's right, I never thought I would see a live action Aqualad But we're going to get it They are stacking Titan Season 2, man I cannot wait uh, the Tick series that was on Amazon is officially dead That's right, the network has failed to find a new network for it So it is over Disney Plus reveals a first look at the Monsters, Inc. TV spinoff So you can check that out uh, Disney is set to follow in the footsteps of their Star Wars Galaxy Edge theme park expansion With a new side called Marvel Land That's right, Marvel Land I cannot wait and I will be heading on back to Disney That's for damn sure as soon as Marvel Land launches um, Hey I want to shout out a new fan of the show Who's Your Chubby uh, on Twitter At Who's Your Chubby uh, Thank you for following us uh, He's a great guy uh, We got to talking on Stardust Like I talked about earlier in the show Stardust, that awesome app And uh, he started listening to the show A couple weeks ago And has been giving some love and shout outs To how much he's enjoying it So thank you so much And I appreciate that So I wanted to give a little bit of a shout out there Lily Reinhardt is set to lead a new romantic drama Called Chemical Hearts And that's beginning production this week X-Men composer and editor Reveals an abandoned Beast spinoff script and you can actually read it online So check that out if you want to see what they would have done With a Beast movie uh, Dick Wolf is plotting a crossover Between FBI and SVU um, And maybe even with the one uh, Chicago universe So lots of crossovers in the works It has been confirmed that Todd Phillips' new uh, Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie Is going to be rated R So that has been officially confirmed uh, Men in Black International The weekend it came out was the number one film But it only debuted with 28.5 mil Which is very lackluster And the lowest of the MIB franchise uh, Shaft didn't do that well In its debut either unfortunately I think that's because people were like Shaft didn't we already see this movie <laughs> uh, Check out the new trailer for Ready or Not uh, Which looks really cool A deadly game of hide and seek So check that out there's a green band and red band trailer Annie Potts says that she will return for Ghostbusters 3 So that's pretty awesome The CW fall schedule has been revealed And Batwoman will premiere on October 6th So look for that coming soon Showtime acquires the Kirsten Dunst series On Becoming a God In Central Florida We had everything coming and going to Hulu In July MGM is turning Rodney Dangerfield's Back to School into a reality TV series Oh my goodness Austin Abrams from Walking Dead Has joined Lily Reinhardt in that new film Chemical Hearts that we just talked about Criminal is a new show Coming to Netflix that will star David Tennant And Haley Atwell I'm all over this one for damn sure That's going to be awesome Slumdog Millionaire's Frida Pinto is joining the new film Hillbilly Elegy Lionsgate has officially nabbed The Hunger Games prequel for the big screen That's right, the author of the Hunger Games Trilogy is writing a prequel Book, so of course Lionsgate came In and said, boom, we need the movie rights to that Bitch, and they got it So, uh, yeah, this movie's Going to take place supposedly like 60 or 70 years before the first Hunger Games Or before the first Hunger Games movie Takes place uh, during the dark times So, uh, yeah That's exciting for the Hunger Games fans out there we got a first look at Steven Spielberg's West Side Story That is ramping up production So you can check that out um, In case you were wondering There is no short animated film Before Toy Story 4 um, Usually Pixar always has a short before it But they just It's only Toy Story 4 on this one So pretty cool The show Pose has been officially renewed For season 3 Over at FX Christine Elise uh, also known as Emily Valentine Has officially joined the upcoming revival Of Beverly Hills 90210 Pretty awesome man uh, She was really cool on the show So good to see her return NBC has also set fall premiere dates For This Is Us, The Good Place, New Amsterdam One Chicago and a whole bunch more So check out their schedule if you're interested We have the season 3 trailer for Glow Which debuts in August And I cannot wait I love Glow on Netflix Uh... 
Let's see here Sana Lathan is set to voice Catwoman In the DC Universe's Harley Quinn animated series HBO space dramedy Avenue 5 Has added Himesh Patel to the cast We got a t- Titan Season 2 set photo It's your first look at Superboy So pretty cool there FX's Why the Last Man series has just added Eliza Clark as the new showrunner Michelle Forbes and Patrick Fujit have joined USA Network's new show Treadstone Which is, of course is set in the Jason Bourne universe Michael Fassbender is set to star in a new action spy thriller for Lionsgate called Malco I'm on board for anything Michael Fassbender is involved in Netflix has renewed Queer Eye for season 4 and 5 Rebellion is adapting the After Blight Chronicles post-apocalyptic thriller Schools Out Forever Leslie Mann is set to star in a new feature film called Blythe Spirit Noah Centineo is confirmed to be playing um, He-Man in the Masters of the Universe movie that we've been talking about So that is going forward Olivia Wilde and John Hamm have boarded Clint Eastwood's new film uh, Richard Jewell Alex Kurtzman says that they have laid out a plan For the next 5 to 10 years of Star Trek God damn Ready to rock Uh, Congratulations for Avengers Endgame Winning the top prize at the MTV Movie and TV Awards We of course have all your winners From the MTV Movie and TV Awards You can check out if you're interested Jerry Seinfeld has confirmed that Eddie Murphy and Seth Rogen Are a couple people that will be on his new season Of Comedians and Cars Getting Coffee uh, Tacoma FD has been renewed for season 2 Over on True TV The new show Chambers has been cancelled On Netflix after just one season So that's unfortunate Because I was going to watch this show and now I will not uh, This Is Us has just added Jennifer Morrison in a reoccurring Role for the upcoming season Netflix has claimed that the new Adam Sandler And Jennifer Aniston movie Murder Mystery Had the biggest ever opening Weekend for one of its original movies How cool is that Adam Sandler still putting in work Even though people love to hate on him these days The biggest ever opening weekend For an original movie on Netflix so that's pretty awesome Congratulations to Jennifer Aniston And Adam Sandler Uh, HBO says that the audience On HBO Now for their new show Euphoria was the largest ever series premiere since Westworld in 2016 Uh, Going back to Murder Mystery, Netflix rarely reveals subscriber reviews for its original films and TV series However, Netflix claimed that Adam Sandler's Murder Mystery has been viewed by over 30 million households in its first three days So that's awesome man, congratulations Netflix's new movie Another Life is set for a July premiere date Uh, Starring Katie Sackhoff So I'm interested in that for sure Rachel Morrison's featured directorial debut Scripted by Barry Jenkins Flint Strong is on the way Lin-Manuel Miranda's Tick Tick Boom Has been acquired by Netflix Paramount Network has renewed Yellowstone for season 3 And has added Josh Holloway to the new season Anthony Kerrigan is set to play the villain In Bill and Ted Face the Music I'm guessing he's going to play a new version of Death He's got to, right? That's that's the only thing that makes sense to me Shonda Rhimes' Bridgerton Netflix series Has just landed Julie Andrews to star Aldous Hodge has joined Blumhouse's And Universal's The Invisible Man Kylie Boonberry and Hannah John Kamen Have joined the new film Brave New World I Think You Should Leave Has been renewed for a season 2 Over on Netflix Rosamund Pike has joined Amazon's Wheel of Time series adaptation Netflix's Dear White People Volume 3 is on its way coming up in the next couple months Pixar has announced that their new animated feature that will arrive next summer is officially titled Soul We don't know much else about it other than it's what's next for Disney and Pixar The Kingsman prequel gets a new title and the movie is going to be called The King's Man Ah, you get it? The King's Man Oh boy Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy Uh, let's see So here's a summary of what Pixar actually did drop For that new film, Soul Uh, their second 2020 feature is going to be called Soul The film will take you on a journey from the streets of New York City To the cosmic realms To discover the answers to life's most important questions There you go 
Carrie Ells uh, has joined Blumhouse's Black Christmas remake The King's Man <laughs> oh, I can't stop laughing about that Comes out in February 2020 Killers of the Flower Moon Paramount has acquired the uh, Scorsese, Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio film Killers of the Flower Moon Marvel Studios says that they're planning to make a comeback At San Diego Comic Con this July A new Paranormal Activity movie is in development Shocker, shocker Marina Baccarin is joining Gerard Butler In a new thriller called Greenland I love Marina Baccarin So I'll take her in anything Avengers Endgame returning to theaters with some new footage That's the way they like to pimp it Unfortunately that's not the way it is Um, What is officially happening is It will have an introduction by the directors It will have an unfinished deleted scene And maybe some surprises during the credits Along with a sneak peek of Spider-Man Far From Home That is it So please be careful It's okay to go see Avengers Endgame again That's what they want you to do Because they're trying to beat Avatar As the biggest movie ever But I don't like that a lot of sites are running That it's like this extended cut Or director's cut Or anything like that um, To make you think that you're going to get something crazy new It's not It's the exact same movie Just with some extra stuff in the credits Um, And uh, yeah That's it So be forewarned So nobody gets spoiled here And disappointed Jermaine Fowler has been added to the cast of Coming to America 2 That's awesome, I like Jermaine Fowler, he's very very funny So I think he'll be a great addition for Coming to America 2 Marvel says that they are looking at a way to bring in Keanu Reeves into the MCU So that's pretty awesome I think he's going to probably join the Eternals movie But at this point we don't know Um, But they are looking at a way to bring him in in the right role uh, Kevin Feige also teases that the Black Widow movie could drop some answers to the to some MCU mysteries. We're still wondering what's going on with this Black Widow movie for sure. The first Spider-Man Far From Home reactions have been released, and everyone is loving this film. It is getting rave reviews. People are saying it's the best comic book movie of the year. It's the best Spider-Man movie by far. Uh, it looks so good, I can't wait to see it I am seeing it on Tuesday, July 2nd Next week, in IMAX opening night And I'm super, super stoked, man And this is the end This is the end of the Infinity Saga This is the end of Phase 3 for Marvel So I cannot wait, man I'm so stoked to see that all the reactions have been super positive About Spider-Man Far From Home Rosamund Pike is set to lead Amazon's The Wheel of Time TV series Sean Penn is set to direct and star in Flag Day um, alongside Brolin and Teller Midsomar reactions have hailed the horror masterpiece uh, That'll mess everyone up As unsettling, dark, funny um, I want to see this I think it looks creepy as hell and I can't wait Mark Paul Gosselier is joining the new Mixed-ish show Which is of course a spinoff of Blackish and Youngish. Uh, but now they're doing Mixish, which is based on Bo, the mom in, in Blackish, as when she was a little girl growing up. And Mark Paul Gosselier is going to actually be playing her dad. So yes, um, and yes, if you saw the the uh, pilot trailer, you're probably like, I saw her dad in that, and it wasn't Mark Paul, Mark Paul Gosselier. That's correct. The guy who played the dad in the uh, pilot got fired, and then they have recasted as Mark Paul Gosselier. So Zach has stepped in to save the day as Young Bo's father in Mixedish. Ron Howard is set to direct his first animated movie titled The Shrinking of Treehorn. Showtime's The Affair fifth and final season first look as the first teaser trailer was released. Check it out. Halloween 2 looks like it's moving forward. They're expected to begin production this fall. For a possible 2020 release date Mike Cahill's Bliss Starring Sama Hayek and Owen Wilson Officially begins production uh, Riverdale Season 4 The first episode is set to be done As a tribute to Luke Perry So that's pretty awesome, I love that uh, FX is rounding out its cast For its new drama pilot, Gone Hollywood They're doing a spin-off TV show Of Easy A Remember Easy A? Um uh, yeah, that movie was pretty funny But it was years ago, man I don't even remember much about it uh, But the original screenwriter is coming back To pen a spinoff that's In the same universe Just years later, so we'll see What uh, 
What goes with that? We have the trailer for Bad Trip. It's uh, real actors pranking real people. So check that out. Everything coming and going to Netflix in July. Uh, Netflix is also adapting Ma Rainey's Black Bottom with Viola Davis and Chadwick Boseman. Uh, Venom and Spider-Man movie likely But is up to Sony Is what Kevin Feige says I find it hard to believe it's up to Sony I think this does play a lot into the MCU Because Venom is not a part of the MCU But Tom Holland Spider-Man is But weird that Kevin Feige is saying like, Yeah it's cool they could do it It's just up to them So we'll see how uh, if Sony wants to pull the plug on that one Because I would love to see Tom Hardy's Venom Go up against Spider-Man But I guess we'll see what happens with that Ice Cube is joining Tracy Ellis Ross and Dakota Johnson in the new film Covers A Quiet Place 2 is officially now in production We have the Stranger Things final trailer Stranger Things season 3 final trailer This debuts next weekend and I am so excited I cannot wait to see the new season of Stranger Things Mark Hamill says that he hopes he's done with Star Wars after the rise of Skywalker That's right he says He's ready for Jedi retirement after this one um, You know not that he's bitter or anything He just said that he felt After doing episode 8 That he had retired and walked away And he was cool with it, with it And then they brought him back for 9 And he had to get all back into it again <laughs> So he's like after this I think we're done Amy Pascal, who of course is in charge of a lot of the Spider-Man universe She offers some updates on the future of Spider-Man Spider-Verse franchise She talks about Tom Holland Spider-Man She talks about Venom She talks about uh, Into the Spider-Verse sequels So it's a pretty cool article up on that Lego Movie 2 animator Emily Dean is set to make her directorial debut with Sony's Tau We have the Trolls World Tour trailer she looks really cute, my daughter loves this She has watched this trailer every single day Since this trailer was released We have the trailer for Point Blank Which is a new Anthony Mackie, Frank Grillo Netflix movie, which looks really, really good A new White House drama Starring Edward Quinn Is one of Tyler Perry's new four sh- Four, four, count them, one, two, three, four New BET series That he's putting together Demi Moore has just joined USA Network's uh, Brave New World um, as she's been cast as Alden Out, uh, Ironreich's mother Julia Roberts, Chris Hemsworth, Marshahala Ali uh, And some more are set to receive Hollywood Walk of Fame stars later this year We have a unreleased music video for a Freddie Mercury song called Time Waits for No One So pretty cool to see something new after all this time uh, CBS All Access The Stand series is beginning to put its cast together Transparent creator Jill Soloway is set to write and direct the Red Sonja film uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor is joining Charlize Theron in Netflix's The Old Guard Space Jam 2 reportedly finds NBA and WNBA stars to join LeBron James in the film The Creepshow reboot is added Jeffrey Combs, Kid Cudi and more to the cast uh, Marina Baccarin also is going to star alongside Mel Gibson in the new film Waldo Harriet Dyer has joined Blumhouse Universal's The Invisible Man Ray Winstone has supposedly joined uh, Marvel's Black Widow in a mystery role Mystery role We have the first trailer for The Peanut Butter Falcon starring Shia LaBeouf James Marsden himself is in talks to lead CBS's adaptation of Stephen King's The Stand So I love James Marsden, man He gives it his all no matter what he does So good to see him um, taking the lead here Really cool article up with uh, Dave Batista talking about doing Dune Army of the Dead, um, Blade Runner And also the time that he defended James Gunn and almost lost his career So pretty cool read here uh, let's see here Tom Hardy officially returning for Venom 2 As if that's any big shocker But it is official so we wanted to let you know The Craft Reboot has just cast Kaylee Spaney as the lead uh, Steve Urkel, yes Jaleel White is set to reprise his Steve Urkel role and Scooby Doo, that's right, on animated form, you're going to see Urkel, which is pretty cool. Uh, the new episode of, uh, new episode, season three of Good Girls, which is a fantastic show, by the way, if you haven't seen it, uh, is set to add a new good girl 
for season three they're gonna, they're gonna add a fourth member to the group so I'm cool with that um let's see here uh George Clooney is set to direct and star in Good Morning Midnight which is an adaptation that's going to be done on Netflix June Diane Raphael has joined the musical comedy covers Mr. In Between Mayans MC and It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia are going to be back in September a first wives club series is set to debut on BET's new streaming service Taika Waititi is going to direct the animated animated Flash Gordon movie so check that out Purge season 2 is starting to go into production USA Network's Briar Patch has just added Alan Cumming and Ed Asner. American Horror Story 1984 is set for a premiere date in September. The Lion King, Lion King soundtrack is uh, got some official details on that. And tickets are on sale now if you want to get ahead of the game. Danny Boyle confirms that a third 28 Days Later film is in development. Scream! The TV series, that's right It was on for a couple seasons on MTV A couple years ago Now this new season is coming to VH1 And it's called Scream Resurrection So check that out We have the first trailer drop Jacqueline Tobani Is set to be a new uh, Cast member for the L World L Word, I don't know, every time I do News on this damn show I get tongue tied The L Word sequel that's coming up <laughs> Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez Celebrate a first day of filming Fast and Furious 9 That's right, Fast and Furious 9 is officially in production They did a really cool uh, Celebration video Just kind of being like, hey, day one down We're so excited, thank you to all the fans um, You know We're ready, Fast 9 Let's do it It was just a really cool, nice little video of them saying thanks uh, For coming this far Which, once again, Fast 9, man, you gotta give them respect Constance Wu is set to lead the new film Goodbye Vitamin David A. Kelly is set to write and executive produce A new Lincoln Lawyer series for CBS Annette Benning has entered negotiations for Death on the Nile The Penny Dreadful show uh, spinoff that they're doing Is uh, looking at some new cast members to the cast uh, Ryan Murphy's The Prom has announced some new cast members like Meryl Streep and Nicole Kidman and Aquafina. Crazy man, they're stacking this thing. Sci-fi's show Deadly Class uh, has been being moved around and shopped to new networks, and unfortunately, everyone has passed. It will not be moving to a new network, and this show is officially dead. A new movie is being put together called Spy Guys. And uh, Zachary Levi, uh, Levi is in negotiations to star Shazam himself And Jeff Tomsik is set to direct Hidden Figures writer Allison Schroeder is set to write the Minecraft movie McKenna Grace and Amazon are teaming up to uh, do the new movie Rabbit Cake The Office is departing Netflix in 2021 for NBC's own streaming service This is big news, guys, big news <laughs> James Wan says that the Trench movie will be more monster horror than a superhero film I think that was pretty obvious, right? It's the Trench There's no superheroes involved Uh, Detective Pikachu is coming out on digital in July and on disc in August Olivia Cook and Lakeith Stanfield are in talks to lead a new fairy tale film for Disney Jenna Malone is set to take on the role of a metaphysical crime boss In the new movie Too Old to Die Young um, which is coming to Amazon Prime We got a little article up with Tom Hiddleston Talking about the new Loki series Which basically is him saying I can't really talk about it But it's going to be cool um, uh, Let's see here Shazam, speaking of Shazam and Zachary Levi uh, Comes out on digital on July 2nd And if you're waiting for the disc like Friggins It's going to be July 16th Sama Hayek is in negotiations to join Marvel's The Internals movie Pretty cool man Another great addition They're really stacking this Internals movie uh, James Wan's next project is probably not going to be Aquaman 2 As he says he has a passion project he's working on That he will probably do next before he jumps into Aquaman Chris Rock's uh, Saw spinoff movie Is set to begin shooting next week 
We have your first trailer for Teen Titans Go versus the Teen Titans Which is pretty awesome We've been hearing about this for a while It is a straight to video movie That they put together where the Teen Titans Go Have to fight themselves in their, their The comedy versions versus the serious versions uh, My daughter loves Teen Titans So she's going to get a real kick out of this one So there's a video game called Myst M-Y-S-T We have been told that Myst uh, is being developed into a film and TV universe Oh my god man Why has everything got to be film and TV Like they just can't settle for one thing They got to push it so damn far That it's just going to tire people out Game of Thrones The complete collection is coming That's right If you don't want, if you want to cancel your HBO There's a really cool box set coming out That's got the full Game of Thrones on it Which is pretty awesome Speaking of Game of Thrones, Maisie Williams has just been cast to lead a new comedy series called Two Weeks to Live Michael Chiklis is set to star in a new Mexico border drama series called Coyote Letitia Wright and John Boyega are set to lead a new TV drama uh, for Steve McQueen It's going to be on the BBC and it's called Small Axe uh, the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Has just added Lena Headey and Benedict Wong As part of the voice cast Along with Sigourney Weaver and Aquafina As well Judd Apatow's Pete Davison movie Is ramping up production We have found out that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Will not be titled as Guardians of the Galaxy So don't be looking for that <laughs> uh, Mouse Guard test footage has been revealed As the film is now officially Cancelled Sorry Fred Canceled Nobody wanted to see his stupid mouses Be knights and fucking riding Fucking birds and shit Nobody wants to see that shit uh, They tried to shop it around And every other film studio said Nah I'm good <laughs> So uh, some test footage did come out today They're trying to hope that it gains some uh, Momentum online like Deadpool did And maybe somebody will be like I'll make that uh, Maybe Friggins will make it You know, uh, With all that money he makes Since he doesn't work and then uh, so <laughs> We also found out today That Avengers Endgame Officially coming to Blu-ray and disc It will hit Blu-ray at the end of July And it will hit disc in August um, So I'll have it in July And Friggins will have it in August So um, you know Once again why would you not get digital Danny Boyle reveals that a prequel series Based on the beach Is in development Um Anthony Mackie opens up about getting his shield as the new Captain America Pretty cool article talking about kind of how that all came together Legion's Noah Hawley met with Kevin Feige about being part of the MCU Ooh, what will we get out of that? I don't know Ghost, Hunt, Ghost Hunters revival is coming to the A&E Network in August You can watch a teaser trailer now The new show Blood and Treasure that is airing on CBS has just been renewed for season 2 an Australian comedy, A Moody Christmas, is being remade by Fox as a limited series Coming very, very soon And that, my friends, is the news of the last couple weeks I told you we'd go about an hour, and we're at 55 minutes right now Look at that, man God, I'm such a good guesser at uh, how long a show is going to go Let's talk releases and box office out on Blu-ray and DVD this weekend Or this week is nothing Nothing new, only new stuff is released on digital This week, no new disc In theaters this Friday is going to be Annabelle Comes Home and Yesterday And here's your box office Out of last weekend Number 10 is Shaft with 3.6 mil Number 9 is X-Men Dark Phoenix With 3.6 million Number 8 is Godzilla King of the Monsters With 3.7 Number 7 is John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum With 4.1 Number 6 is Rocket Man with 5.7 Number 5 is The Secret Life of Pets 2 with 10.3 Number 4 is Men in Black International with 10.8 Number 3 is Aladdin with 12.12 Number 2 is Child's Play with 14.1 So pretty decent debut for Child's Play Which I believe was made on a budget of less than $10 million So it's already made its production budget back So very cool and number one, no doubt here Toy Story 4 $118 million That's right, $118 million In its debut weekend So congratulations to Disney Who does it again um, With a massive debut there And the biggest of the Toy Story franchise 
And that, my friends, is it. We did it. That is all the news. That is all the reviews. And that is everything I got for you, man. I'm out of breath and I'm out of time. I just want to go relax now. <laughs> uh, but I, hey, I'm so glad we got caught up. I'm glad that you got caught up. And I'm glad that you got some new movie reviews and everything that's going down in the world of entertainment news. Let's do some social media shout outs, why don't we? Our official website is amiontheair.com. That's right, bookmark it, save it. That's where it is, baby. Amiontheair.com. Follow me on Stardust. Like I said, download the app. You can download it on your tablet, on your phone, whatever. Get Stardust. Follow me. I'll follow you back at Don Mega. D O N M E G A. Follow us on Twitter. At Am I on the Air? Follow me directly on Twitter at DX Don Mega. Uh, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Am I on the Air? We're on YouTube, we're on Instagram at simply Am I on the Air? Um, of course, Apple Podcast. Download, rate, subscribe. If the Apple Podcast ain't isn't your tune, I suggest Spotify. If, if, if you don't have Spotify, then check us out on iHeartRadio, on Spreaker, on TuneIn, on Stitcher, on Dasher, on Prancer, on Donner and Vixen. Uh, we're on all the different streaming apps for podcasts. Google Play, Google Play Podcast. Just, you should have no trouble finding us. Let's just say that. Uh, and of course, our great affiliates at RedDragonsRadio.com. We're always streaming on demand on RedDragonsRadio.com. Follow on Twitter at RedDragonsRadio. A great site that hosts a bunch of awesome podcasts. And we're just one of them that streams 24-7 at your desire. That'll do it for me on this Wednesday, June the 26th. We are exactly hitting that hour mark right now. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a great week, good rest of your week. Uh, and we'll catch you on the next episode uh, with some more news and reviews. So take care of yourselves and each other. And until next time, y'all. Peace! Bye, everybody. Red Dragons! Red Dragons!